Yeah, I mean, Landry was great. Got his shot going, but his defense was excellent. You know, he, uh, he had a really good all-round game. Um, shots fell for us, uh, but we also didn't turn the ball over, um, you know, too bad and, and created a lot of good opportunities. Uh, it's a young team, development team that's come off a West Coast road trip, and uh, I think we caught them tonight. But, uh, you know, the guys did their job, played well, and, uh, and kept separation. Tom Dowd, BrooklynNets.com. Uh, Steve, obviously, you know, uh, James again with his third triple doubles and that him and Kyrie had, uh, you know, 25 each. Um, you know, how do you feel about them just kind of, you know, splitting the workload with uh, without Kevin out there and kind of taking the lead for the scoring? Yeah, they were they were both uh, incredible. Uh, James manages the game so well, spreads the floor, scores, assists, rebounds, uh, gets his hands on balls defensively and Kyrie was just, uh, you know, incredible shot making. I mean, he's able to make some, you know, amazing plays with the basketball and, you know, such a threat out there and so difficult for defenses to contain. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Coach, what did you just think about, you know, Landry, Tim, Joe, uh, when you've got guys that are, are – hitting their shots, just what does that do for the offense and what does that do for the team, especially for guys that haven't been able to knock down shots in recent games? Well, it was great. I was happy for Landry. Obviously, he's a very good shooter. He hasn't had a, a, a good start to the season shooting the ball, but he's done his job whenever we played him. He's been good defensively and, uh, and taking shots and just haven't had him go in yet. So tonight he got a little rhythm going, which is great to see. Uh, TLC as well, and, and has done a great job defensively for us. Uh, you know, you go down the line, everyone had contributions tonight. But when those guys make threes, you know, it opens up the middle for for James and Kai and Kevin, and, and they make you pay if you collapse. So I think it makes us a very deadly team offensively when, when guys are making threes. Tom Dowd, BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Steve, just, you know, looking at the starting lineup you went with without Kevin, you know, obviously, I guess there's a choice between Bruce and, and Jeff to kind of fill that spot. You know, how do you decide which one to go with? Um, and was it predicated on what the starting lineup would look like or the second unit would look like? Both. You know, I think putting Bruce out there to start the game allows him to guard uh, Shea, which is, uh, you know, someone we need to try to contain. Um, Jeff, you know, not starting, I think, allows us to have him on the second unit as a, you know, a veteran presence with experience to help the second unit. That's also allows us to try to limit his minutes a little bit. We've played him a lot this year. Um, you know, he's so versatile and so important to us that, you know, if he starts tonight, he's probably playing 35 minutes. But if he comes off the bench, you know, we were able to limit him at least a little bit. So, um, you know, I think it worked well all the way around um, tonight. But, you know, who knows what the future holds. Michael Grady, Yes Network. Hey, Coach, packaging uh, this one with the last one against Atlanta. Um, when you reflect back on the last game with Atlanta and then the last game with the Thunder, how different are you um, than the team that in, in the last two meetings between these teams? Yeah, we're getting there. We, we are different in personnel, clearly. But um, you know, I think we're slowly inching forward at both ends of the floor. We at least – you know, we, we, we struggle defensively at times, but we're getting more, I think, solid with our game plan defensively, which is important. Um, offensively, you're starting to see a, a little bit more flow. You're seeing uh, James is able to manage a game like that and um, manipulate the defense. Uh, so, he, you know, he brings something different to the table in the first two times we played those teams. That's incredibly important and valuable for us as well. Uh, what, what are some other ways you've seen the comfortability since James has joined the group, you know, continue to develop in a pos positive direction? Obviously, the win streak speaks for itself, but what ways are you seeing, oh, guys are getting more comfortable out there? Yeah, uh, you know, there's a familiarity growing on uh, both ends of the floor. You know, we got a long ways to go defensively. Um, you know, it's not our forte or strong suit, but we got to be clean with our game plan and make sure that we're talking and, and anticipating actions. So I think that's improving. Um, you know, and offensively, I think guys are starting to get a feel of a rhythm for one another, how each other likes to play, where they like the ball, how they like to move, cut, and play off each other. So, um, you know, James is a master at, at leading that and manipulating the floor. And obviously with Kai and Kevin's scoring ability, it's, uh, you know, very potent at that end of the floor. So we've got to continue to refine offensively to find that, 
connectivity and then defensively the same thing. If we can just get sharper and cleaner with all of our reads and talking and executing at that end, you know, we can be solid down there. Last question, we'll go to Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Steve. Um, this is a two-parter. You mentioned uh, being more solid with the defensive game plan. I'm curious, are you changing how you're asking them to play defensively? Like maybe say, hey, listen, this didn't work. I'm going to try this. Or are they just simply understanding better what you guys are demanding of them? And then the second question is Kyrie played a little bit. It seemed like Harden had been playing a little more with the second unit. And today it seemed like Kyrie was playing a little bit more with the second unit. What was it that went into that? Was it just the way they worked with those guys or was it a game matchup? Uh, man, I'd, I'd have to look. I felt like James started both the second and, and, and fourth quarters. Um, but maybe Kai was out there in, in the second unit. I, I guess the end of the, the first and and, um, and third quarter, Kai played the whole corner. So he would have been out there with, with the second unit, I guess, for, for a brief stint. But, you know, that it wasn't so much uh, by design. It was just with Kevin out of the game. We left Kai in for the entire first and third quarter. Uh, James still kind of runs that second unit at the start of the second and fourth. Um, Defensively, you know, we, we're mixing in a few things, but really we're just trying to refine what we were previously doing. Um, so it, it's not a whole lot of change, but we, you know, we, we will look to mix and we blitzed a little bit tonight. We denied a little bit tonight. We, we even ran a possession of zone, but uh, um, we, we, we got a ways to go as far as uh, building our toolbox, but also refining what, what our basics and foundations are. Thanks for your time, coach. Thanks, guys. Good night.